Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to wish you a happy holiday. Um, happy holidays for all of you Virgos out there. I hope that you guys have the best time in the world. Hope you guys are staying safe. How are you doing my lovely Virgo? Let's get into your reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys for this month of December 2020. Now your first card here is the Hermit card. Your next card here is the Strength card. Wow, we have two major Arcanas, the Five of Cups and the Judgment card. All right. All right, Virgo. I see you guys being very, being very private. I see you guys like uh, not socializing a lot. Now I know a lot of people are not doing that right now because of what's going on globally. Um, but I see you guys very, like, focused towards, for some of you guys, this could be focused towards uh, goals. This could be focused on your work. This could be focused on um, on goals that you're trying to achieve. Um, and it's almost a feeling of, like, like, you're so consumed. For some of you guys, you're so consumed with... Um, you're so consumed with work. I feel that for some, it, it's like there is there is something within you, Virgo, that is almost like I'm sensing like an introvert. And uh, I know Virgos are definitely not introverts, but what they're showing me is like really being in your head a lot. And I think that this could be because of either lack of connection, like lack of people being around um, or it could be that you are very much in your head because you're very focused, like uh, you got them blinders on and you're just focused on, you know, walking towards the future or going towards the future. I see a lot of planning going on here uh, with the strength card, um, having the passion or the intensity uh, to focus on everything that has to do with that of ego which again we're talking about goals we're talking about uh, desires we're talking about um, plans plans that you want to uh, materialize or that you want to give fruition to now with the five of cups and the judgment card for some of you guys you may be dealing with um, you may be dealing with the Leo for others of you you may be dealing with water energy Scorpio cancer Pisces um, but I definitely see you guys missing someone or uh, really dealing with some type of emotional turmoil with the Five of Cups. It's like really missing or thinking of everything that has been lost. Um, this can also represent like focusing on some type of connection for some of you guys where you thought things were going very well very quickly and then all of a sudden there is some type of halt there is some type of blockage uh with the five of cups really missing this person or really thinking about them or being like very much in your feelings virgo with the judgment card here though i feel that there was a decision that was made now for some of you guys it could be that you were dealing with an individual um that like i said that you felt the connection was very very strong and it was like progressing ra rather quickly uh and then all of a sudden they kind of like just disappeared uh or they weren't really communicating or they weren't really responding back to texas with the judgment card there was a decision that was made um stop being so much in your head about it virgo because i feel like you guys are uh, thinking of a thousand reasons why they're not communicating but with the judgment card here it's like they made that rational decision they know exactly what they did um, so stop creating this scenarios to excuse the behavior that for some of you guys they kind of just went MIA um, judgment also represents yes them coming back around or trying to communicate again um, but if they come back around giving you some type of excuse or a reasoning of why they weren't in contact for a while, uh, what they're telling you is don't overlook that because I, I've, I feel like they're literally showing me a huge as red flag. Um, and I feel that because you're so much in your head and you felt that connection very intensely with the strength card, it's like you feel that 
you know, your connection or the love that you have for this person is going to be enough to be able to tame them or to be able to change them. Uh, and what Spirit, what Spirit is telling you here with the Judgment card is you got to take the person for who they are. You cannot, and I know this is something that happens um, often. When we're getting to know someone um, in our heads, especially if we're very attracted to them, in our heads we kind of uh, create this version of them where we think that they, you know, they're so amazing, so that means that they have to be amazing. Um, without really knowing the person when you're just in the process of getting to know them. So you kind of fantasize about what can happen or what can come from that connection, but it doesn't necessarily mean that there's truth to that. Uh, sometimes uh, it has more to do with the, you know, expectations that, that we have. And then you find out, you know, as you communicate or as that connection progresses, you find out that they suck at texting back or they go MIA or they're, you know, uh, trying to just, you know, do them. And whenever you pop in their head, that's when they reach out to you and that type of thing. So what they're telling you here is if there's red flags there, Virgo, take them for what they are. Don't excuse that type of behavior. Now, the Five of Cups next to the Judgment card, again, does represent um, making a decision. For some of you guys, this could have been you that decided to walk away because you did see those red flags. Um, but I feel that, again, with the Judgment, they are coming back around or they are trying to contact or communicate. This is my advice to you, Virgos, especially because the holidays are around the corner. And this is the time where I see a lot of people really being in their feelings or being like all nostalgic about the past. Um, so if there is exes or people from the past coming back around trying to contact you, trying to communicate with you, don't entertain that energy, Virgo, because again, it's temporary. It's passing. It's not something that's going to last. So you don't want to get hurt or put yourself in a situation where you're going to end up getting hurt all over again. Now, your card here is, Spirit's advice for you is stop obsessing. Okay, now the back it says, you are not the fucking center of the universe. I feel that this is not for you, like the message, you're not the fucking center of the universe. I feel that this is the energy of the person you're dealing with. Uh, they can have some type of ego, uh, eccentric type of issues, or it could be a person that loves a lot of attention which is why they get distracted or which is why they are very flighty. Um, and what they're telling you here, stop obsessing over this person. There's something about their behavior or their attitude that you're not really either catching on or you're not paying attention to and you're kind of ignoring it because you really like this person. But like I said, if they're not being consistent, don't waste your time, Virgo. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you guys some type of insight. And I want to wish you guys happy holidays. Take care, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.